preponderance of segments. Let's learn. Activity 1. Take a rectangular paper, place two opposite sides on one upon the other. They coincide exactly. Activity 2. Using the ruler, measure the length of segment AB and segment PQ. Length of AB is equal to Length of PQ is equal to Are they of the same length? You cannot pick up and place one segment over the other. Trace the segment AB along with the names of the points on the sheet of transparent paper. Place this new segment on segment PQ. Verify that if the point A is placed on point P, then P falls on Q. It means segment AB is congruent with segment PQ. We can infer from this that if two segments have the same length, they coincide exactly with each other. That is, they are congruent. If segment AB and segment PQ are congruent, it is written as segment AB is congruent to segment PQ. Now, I know that if given segments are equal in length, they are congruent. If segment AB is congruent, segment PQ, it means that segment PQ is congruent to segment AB. Note also that if segment AB is congruent to PQ and segment PQ is congruent to segment MN, then segment AB is con also concurrent to segment MN. In other words, if one line segment is congruent to another and that segment is congruent to a third, then the first segment is also congruent to the third. Activity 1. Take any box. Measure the length of each of its stick edges. Which of them are congruent? Activity 2. From the shape shown below, Write the names of the pairs of congruent line segments. 1. Segment AB is congruent to segment DC. 2. Segment AE is congruent to segment BH. 3. Segment EF is congruent to segment HG. 4. Segment TF is congruent to segment CG. Let's begin with our practice set 6. Question number 1. Write the names of pairs of congruent line segments. Use a divider to find them. Let's see the answers. Segment GB is congruent to segment GC. The measures are same. Second, the segment MG is congruent to GR, which is congruent to segment GN, which is congruent to segment GE. Now, let's solve the second question of set 6. Question number 2. On the line below, the distance between any two adjoining points shown on it is equal. Hence, fill in the blanks. Answer First, segment AB is concurrent to segment BC, which is concurrent to segment QP, which is concurrent to segment PZ, which is congruent to segment ZY, which is congruent to segment YX, segment XW, which is congruent to segment WA. Second one, segment AP 
is congruent to segment WQ which is congruent to segment ZB which is congruent to segment YC. Third, segment AC is congruent to segment QZ which is congruent to segment ZX which is congruent to segment XA which is congruent to segment PY is congruent to segment YW which is congruent to segment WB. You have to solve your next question as a homework. Congruence of angles. Let's learn. Observe the given angles and write the names of those having equal measures. Write the names of congruent pairs of the angles. Angle ABC is congruent to angle MPS. Angle NIT is congruent to angle SRI. Angle PTQ is congruent to angle RTS. Let's see one activity. Draw two angles, angle M, L, M, N and angle X, Y, Z of 40 degrees each as shown in the figure. Trace the arms of angle L, M, N and the names of the points on a transparent paper. Now, lift the transparent paper and place the angle to obtain on angle X, Y, Z. Observe that. If point M is placed on Y and ray MN on ray YZ, then ray ML falls on ray YZ, YX. We can infer that angles of equal measures are congruent. The congruence of angles does not depend on the length of their arms. It depends upon the measures of those angles. That angle LMN is congruent with angle XYZ is written as angle LMN is congruent to angle XYZ. Now I know two angles with equal measures are congruent to each other. If angle LMN is congruent to angle XYZ, then angle XYZ is congruent to angle LMN. If angle LMN is congruent to angle ABC and angle ABC is congruent to angle x y z then it means angle l m n is congruent to angle x y z let's have some information about clock let's discuss what time does the clock show three o'clock what is the measure of the angle between its two hands 90 degrees angle at which other times is the angle between the hands congruent with this angle 9 let's begin with our practice set 7 here is our question some angles are given below using the symbol of congruence write the names of pairs of congruent angles in these figures Answer. Answer first. Angle AOC is congruent to angle PQR which is 90 degrees. Second, angle AOB is congruent to angle TSR which is 
45 degrees. Third, angle DOC is congruent to angle LMN which is 30 degrees. Let's see the congruence of circles. Let's learn. Activity 1. Observe the circles in the figures above. Draw similar circles of the same radii 1 cm, 2 cm, 1 cm and 1.3 cm on a sheet. Draw similar circles and cut them. Place them one upon the other to find out which one coincide exactly. What we observe? The circle in A and C coincide. Circles in figure B and C and in figure A and D do not coincide. Are there other pairs like these? Circles which coincide exactly are...